In this video, we're going to have a look at the translation of static information, such as labels on forms, within the Service Manager application. So I'll just start by going into the Service Manager app. And from the request list view, I'm going to open up one of my existing incidents. As part of my profile, I've been given the role of translator. Within the menu option, I can select to turn the translations on. Once turned on, we can see that each label is underlined. With the right mouse button click, it presents you with an option to be able to change this label. And here I'm simply going to change the default English term to a new term. In this case, I want to use user instead of customer. Once changed, any user with the English language set against their profile will now see this new label. We can now use the same feature for translating labels into different languages. Selecting French from the list of available languages will now reset my session to use the French language. I can then go back to the menu option and re-enable the translation mode. Once enabled, I can use the right mouse click again to do the translation, but this time, because we're translating from English to French, I can use the Suggest button, and this will provide me with an automatic translation of this text. And switching over to the admin tool, I can perform these same translations against the Service Manager application. From the translations options, I can select the language that I wish to translate to. In this case, I'll select French again. And from here, we can translate each individual string of text by entering our own translation or using the Suggest option to provide it automatically. Also from within the admin tool, we're able to control which languages are available to the users. By selecting the instance configuration, we can then view a list of available languages. You can now scroll through this extensive list of languages and select the languages that you wish to make available. From here, we're going to enable the Arabic language. You can now change your view to only show the supported languages. And from here, disable any that you no longer wish to use. And we can now switch back to our user, and we can see from his language menu that he only has the three enabled languages.